Okay, so what we are going to look at today is the next step from uh, drawing the boxes and the planes. As you remember, we have a horizontal line with a vanishing point at either end. After a while, you may find that you don't even need to draw in the horizontal line. I mean, it's kind of useful being that the two vanishing points, uh, VP1 and VP2, are on the same line, but really, you almost don't need it there. You just draw. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at cutting up boxes, and in fact, that's what this one's all about. If I start off with an object, and again, kind of warm your arm up to drawing lines, so I'm, I'm kind of pivoting on my elbow, and I can draw lines to my vanishing point number two, and vanishing point number one, like that. Then I'm going to construct some sides to it, and as you know, this one here goes to VP1. And this one here goes to VP2. Okay, so there we have a very basic box. So what the next step is to do is that we're going to start cutting it up. So watch how I'm doing this. So first off, I'm going to pick a point like here, and I'm going to draw a horizontal line. So I want it to be a big slope. So I want the bottom of the slope to go to here, and the top of the slope to be up here. So this point here goes to vanishing point number one. So I've got a line coming across here. So this point here, this top of the box, is going to stay there. And this bottom of the box over here is going to stay there. I want to see that. And then this bottom line here is going to stay there. And this back line is also going to stay there. But this is what I'm going to do, which is the fun part, is that now I'm going to join. Instead of going up and around, I'm going to join from here to here. And I'm going to join from here to here. And so now I have sliced off a whole section of the box. So do you see it's kind of like when you draw the box, it's a big lump of clay. You then take a knife and you slice off a piece and this is what you've, you get now. So next section, I'm going to do a box up here. Start with my first line, my vertical, VP1, VP1. I don't have to draw the line all the way to the vanishing point. I just need to draw it until it's out of, you know, sort of out of where I need it to. So here's my new box here. This one goes to VP1, and this one here goes to VP2. And you see I've got a box. Now, this one, I'm going to slice maybe a different corner. So maybe I'll take it from here right up to the point, up to there. Then I'm going to take this to VP2 and come up here. So now I've got this wedge shape that's floating above my head and that then maybe I could look at uh, doing another slice on this side from here to here and then that one will also go to VP2 so now as I darken it up you'll see this box has got two slices taken away. This side here, because it's behind it, I can't see it very well. OK, 
Okay. If I wanted to, to make it look more obvious, I could obviously erase out some of these lines. The difference that all of these lines here, all of my construction lines, we can now call construction lines because they've drawn really faintly. The final lines where I've gone over it in a sketch way but a little darker, we can call those final lines. So construction are for drawing it out and we try to draw them as faintly as possible and then we can get into um, to this. Now, I'm going to give you one more thing that will add a little more excitement to this. Okay, I'm going to draw another box down here. Now, I have only done slopes so far. And this time, what I've got here is a box. And this box will go back to here. There's the end of the box. And this one goes to VP1. Now, watch this. If I now take a point here and here, I can go down here and down here. There's the end point. That one goes back to VP1. And then the top of these lines here go to VP2. Then here, kind of like with the planes, do you remember? Where we did that little line at the back? And then this one here, so what I've now got are, is a box and I've cut like a trough out of it. So it's like a U shape. Okay, like that. So here we have a bunch of boxes that are all perspective and that now we're just chopping them up and cutting pieces off them. So what I would like you to do is try to make six boxes on one sheet. So do another one here, another one here, maybe another one here, and just cut faces or something off it. You can go over the horizon line in the middle. The only thing with that is that you're only going to see the two front faces of your box. You're not going to see the top and you're not going to see the bottom of the box. So if I do this here, it's going to go to VP1, VP1, VP2, VP2. I'm going to create the box, back of the box, and then I could look at doing a slope on it or something like that. VP2, VP1, and where that one intersects, that is where my box is here. Okay. Do you see that? So on this one, I'm not seeing underneath it, and I can't see the top of that face, but it's still, you can draw over the horizon line. Okay, so practice that. I want six shapes on that sheet.